Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. Another unboxing. I think this is the third for 2024. We're going to unbox this new uh, plane for me. It's a petrol plane. Uh, and uh, well, let's uh, do it and see what we have here. Start by removing all the table tape. Uh, have the one here. We keep it as a uh, surprise, something like that. All right. Uh, table tape everywhere. Shave, you already know what it is, right? Okay. Very light fuselage, uh, the first thing you can access. Uh, let's see where should I start? Huh? Uh, <coughs> as you can see, this is a Trojan, and all this plastic may, make me remember the famous brand of uh, another Trojan, right? Okay, what we have here? Uh, bubble wrap, very uh, safe. I will open it on this side, so it will be easier to extract. Okay, all right, all right. For a very long time I've been uh, avoiding <coughs> bikes and planes, but uh, I think uh, if I want to go for gas planes, uh, the only way is going to balsa or composite. And so far, composite is not very easy to find. So, balsa it is. Alright, this is nice. This is one of my favorite uh, skins, the uh, Southeast Asia camo, Vietnam era camo. It's a little bit uh, faded. Uh, usually this one should be a little bit darker, but let's assume it's been faded by the sun, not the tropic. And then, okay. Here we have really nice uh, firewall. Uh, I'm going to use a 20cc uh, engine on this one. Um, you know this plane has some nice scale features, like for instance the wheel doors that are already pre-installed, that is good, already pre-installed, right, all this one is uh, covered in Cora Core, uh, <coughs> they have the exit for the push rods for the elevator and rudder, all this one come with the fairing here that uh, will be attached after the installation of all the push rods. Let's see what is uh, in the cockpit. The cockpit is really nice, you can see one pilot, but the, the instrument panel is quite interesting, you see. They have a very detailed uh, instrument, 
Mm. Laser cut uh, with the decals uh, there. Nice. Let's take a look on the other side. Okay. Wow, really nice structure. Uh, strong and light. Interlocking uh, laser cut uh, parts. Really, really good. Uh, for the size of the holes, it looks like 17 gram, right? 1, 2, 3, 17 gram uh, for um, elevator and runner. Uh, another 17 gram for uh, throttle. And uh, let's see what is in the wings, because I think for the wings is our uh, standard size zero, 9, 9 kg or something like that. The finishing is really good, no bubbles, no wrinkles. It's all really, really good, and I like that this, this one is already installed. I think I will have to put uh, uh, some uh, either uh, springs or uh, some uh, thread here to make sure that this one is closing together with the uh, landing gear. All right, nice uh, fuselage. Uh, again, the cockpit. The pilot comes uh, all loose, so you know why, because I don't see any access to it, uh, and I don't see any screws here, so it is, uh, let me put the, my telescopes, ah yeah, very small screws, I will have to take out all these small screws and uh, make sure the pilot is not going to go rogue mm. uh, inter interesting face uh, it's, it looks 3D printed 3D printed pilot, yeah nice <coughs> All these kits are uh, made in Vietnam. They have a very good industry, they have a very good tradition of uh, making uh, uh, wood planes. They started, uh, there are several brands there, but the most famous are uh, Dark, uh, Black Horse, sorry, Black Horse. Then you have a BQ, then you have Seagull. I think BQ and Seagull are the, from the same family. Right. Those are the most uh, important uh, manufacturers. Ah, this is the rudder. Wow, it's such a huge rudder. Mm, nice. You can see the... Um, Simulated uh, fabric with these uh, um, ribs and everything. And the, I, what I like, then this one is that the resolution of the print on the aura cover is really nice. Right? You can see the, the, the not as very, it's not very sharp, but also you cannot see the pixels just a little bit. Rockets. And this is a nice plane because uh, this one is not a trainer, it's a um, ground attack, a close air support uh, plane, CAS plane. 
Ah, look at this. 3D printed uh, bombs with the tags. Uh, nice to install and remove. Really nice and printed in two colors. It's not painted, it's printed in two colors. Nice. All right. Good. Finally, the wings. Okay, Let's see at least one. That's with the ailerons and the flaps. Ailerons, I think ailerons. Ah, free glue. Alright. Also the flap, free glue. Okay, full flap. Uh, this is the uh, aileron servo location, flap servo location. The, the roundel is in, printed also in the covering. No lights. Good idea, good addition to put some lights here, but maybe I can do a, a vacuum form place. So I can make a, this one, I use this one as a plug, make vacuum form, cut it. I will analyze that one. Okay, this is a wing, really nice. Um, usually they bring these uh, threads to pull from the um, servo location, but us I usually I use this uh, very nice tool I received long ago from uh, Freewing when I bought the MiG-21 I received this tool inside and it's really useful you can pull wires and install long lead servos with no problem alright this is the wing the other one is the same so let's skip to the other bits Okay, This is the uh, fin, right? very big fin, 
together with the culture. It's really huge, huh? Very big, very nice. Nice. Uh, even even the numbers are already printed. No decals like uh, P47. It's good because I prefer this one because the decals of P47 are too transparent. Every time I install the decals on top of the dark uh, covering, it became uh, invisible. Too wide. Most of the time is removing tape. Uh, these are the vacuum form parts. Uh, the the uh, wheel wells uh, finishing, the edges, and this one must be for the pylons in the wing. Very nice shapes. This one uh, I tried uh, installing in the P47 and uh, really precise installation is really precise. Lots of plastic, single-use single plastic. <laughs> well, it's not that we are a really big industry, I think. I usually recycle most of these bags. I use it for uh, uh, recycling, rubbish, and everything. But this one has so, uh, so much uh, tape. No, there's not much you can do. All right. Oh. Okay, again, very nice. The elevator is just a flat profile. Uh, and the, uh, the elevator itself, the mobile parts are a simulated fabric with a nice profile. Okay, now let's go for settings. Joiner tube for the wings and all the push rods and everything, right? All the accessories for the rods. Hmm. This is taking longer than I expected. Typical uh, DQ wells, wheels, I mean. the engine mount, 
uh, the struts for uh, not sorry, the legs for the fix uh, landing gear and uh, all the related hardware and even, even the springs for the landing gear the doors are there all the hardware what else do we have? we have a dummy radial engine the cover for the, the tail landing gear and cover for the center of the wings Here we have a uh, well. This is something uh, I'm not going to use because uh, they are very fragile. This is for the uh, wheel uh, covers, and this is to attach to this uh, to the struts, right? But last time I used it and it broke everything, so I designed and 3D printed uh, the same. Uh, and I, I plan to do the same. I'm going to design not only the wheel doors but also the brackets. doors eh? you see those wooden brackets go here and here and then around the strut but they are really really uh, fragile so most probably what I have to do is uh, either just print the new brackets and also those brackets are designed for the BQ retracts uh, the BQ retracts have uh, the issue that there is uh, they have a lot, a lot of slope so uh, I'm planning to use uh, uh, aluminum struts. I already have them. I will show you. These are the struts I'm going to use. They are straight. So uh, most probably I will have to design because the size needs to be exactly in the place. Right. And also this one looks a little bit too uh, flimsy. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Well, all these are um, blisters, uh, details, and all the stuff. This, these are the most probably for the uh, engine flaps, right? Or they say brakes, but uh, yeah, probably it's going to break through. So you don't need that. Uh, and this one is the, are the inner doors, the inner door for the main landing gear. Nice, nice touch. Uh, it's amazing how um, these models have evolved in, in scale detail. Some time ago, you were not. Uh, able to get this level of detail in, in this size of plane, like the holes there for the retract or fix one in here, and now you have everything here. Alright, as I mentioned, I'm going to use uh, this uh, engine. I don't know if you saw the unboxing. If not, uh, go on my channel and see the unboxing of this engine. Really nice. This is a, a, a feel. 20cc with uh, uh, auto start or with, with a starter, include a starter, and uh, you can see it in my, in my channel. I think it's going to be a good power for this plane. A friend of mine put a 35cc, but it's too big. The, the plane is, the, the nose is too big, the, the propeller is like uh, two inches outside the cowling, and it doesn't look nice. It has excess power, but uh, uh, the scale line has been lost. All right, this one uh, is going to be built in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, first, I need to make them the zero. I need to make them the P47, 
and uh, breaking the engine for this one and then we will see how it goes thank you for watching um, I will be updating about this project uh, see you around uh, take care enjoy flying enjoy building that's what I'm going to do thanks a lot please subscribe to support my channel thanks